Not this one. Oh my god. I don't know if I should say this. Uh -huh. This one, uh, if, if you want your periods to come, if you want your periods to come on time, are you listening? Are you listening or I don't know, are you listening or not? You are supposed to how much time your periods are going to come. So if you think you have done it and you think that you did it maybe on your not safe days, it's always good to guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my part two of the you know what we talked about in the previous video about uh, natural ways of inducing periods or some uh, what you are supposed to eat or what you're supposed to eat or do so that you're going to uh, <clears throat> so that you're going to make your periods come fast let me talk it in an easy way so uh my number one is you can eat a uh, pineapple yeah pineapple <laughs> yes pineapple is gonna help you yes but it's not just going to help you um it's not just going to help you just like that uh after uh, anytime you do that thing after you do that thing it's always good to eat a pineapple Yes, it's always good to eat a pineapple, a lot of pineapples, so that it's going it's going to help you. Or maybe a week a week before your periods. You know, I was telling you, maybe you are using safe days. Huh? Maybe you're using safe days. And sometimes you may think that you you haven't counted well. Yeah, you may think that you haven't counted well. Then you're like, oh, I think... I may get pregnant if I'm not going to use any any remedy or if I'm not going to do anything about it, I may get pregnant. And maybe you are not ready to become a mother. So it's always good to eat a uh, eat lot of pineapples. Yes, we are, it's go always good to eat a lot of pineapples, but there is no medical... It's always said that there is no any medical evidence about it, but it's always good to eat a lot of pineapples eh? yes then because pineapple it's it's said pineapple is rich is a rich source of brom bromelain and enzymes believed to affect estrogen and hormones so anytime you eat it anytime you eat a lot of pineapples they are going to induce they are going to make your they are going to make your <clears throat> your uterus to contract what do you call to contract or to do what to contract and it's going to cause the periods to come. So another way of my number two remedy is ginger. Yes, you can take ginger. Yes, it's always good. You can take ginger. Yeah, by the way, you can take ginger either by boiling it. You can boil it. Yes, you can boil the ginger. After boiling the ginger, then you drink that, the ginger tea. You drink it uh, like one week before, one week before your period. You know, I'm telling you, you have to know you are, you have to know yourself. You have to know your safe days. You have to know if you have safe days. We know there are some people who don't have those safe days or maybe their safe days are very short. So you have to know your right time and the day, or the day your periods are going to come. Or maybe you have to you have to know the right time your periods are going to come. So if you think you have done it and you think that you did it maybe on your not safe days, it's always good to take ginger tea. Take ginger tea every every day. You can take it every day before that before that before before your periods come. It's going to to make to contract your womb or to contract your uterus and your periods are gonna come. Yes, but they are not medically fit. I said I'm not a doctor, so it's always good. I'm just giving you some of the things you can do, but it's always good to go for medical attention, or maybe you can go for pregnancy test to go and confirm if you are pregnant. But you know, sometimes you can do the pregnancy test, but it comes negative, but still you're pregnant. So guys, eh, let's continue. Then there's another one, 
papayas yes papayas yes papaya 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 yeah when you feel that yes i may get pregnant you can eat papayas we eat a lot of papayas and uh, it's always encouraged to eat a uh, aro <laughs> aro papaya yes <laughs> you can imagine eating a raw papaya but okay it's not raw a green one that you can be able to eat so you can eat it you eat it and eat it by the way those these are some of the things that these are some of the fruits you can you are not supposed to eat too much of it when you're pregnant by the way so it's always good to eat papayas but not the ripe ones those are zenye zimebakisha tu kidogo ziive yani kitu unaona ni green yani kitu unakula unasikia it's bitter Oh my god you see what girls will go through because of men huh you enjoyed both of you but you are the one now eating the bitter things eh? that time the man is just there relaxing <laughs> but when you are together you are enjoying together you are enjoying together <laughs> so guys continue subscribing yes continue liking the video and continue continue leaving a comment and tell and tell me have you ever used any of these um home remedies have you ever used of this any of these home remedies or yeah just tell me so there's also something else huh? um there's warm warm bath like warm bath hmm? so when you feel that you are pregnant okay you know that's a feeling anytime you 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 are suspecting yourself that you are pregnant and maybe even your your period are almost to come but you feel like you're already pregnant because your mind your psychology your everything is that i'm pregnant or oh, i did this or oh, now you're afraid so you can use warm bath hmm? what do i mean by warm bath you go for a shower hot shower like hot shower you go for hot shower like hot shower yes you make sure that maybe you put something warm something if it's hot <laughs> something hot if okay the hotness that you can handle you know hey don't go and boil yourself and say that nimoras told us to use hot <laughs> nimoras told us to burn ourselves no i didn't tell you to burn yourself so you just go maybe you take a towel and if you have a shower you open it on the hot side yeah? hot side end you make sure you 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 put it on your womb and then you do it like every day every day every day until your period comes yes you can try it out but sometimes you can mix everything kai wa dem shida mnapitianga juu ati ya mapenzi sasa hiyo mwanaume ametulia tu ya mwanaume tu ametulia tu hapo he don't care so guys huh? there's something else hmm? yes we have said we have said um pineapples papayas and um hot shower then what else what else have we said yes we also have um there's something else hmm? this is a uh, something like cocoa inaitwa cocoa ama inaitwa nini coco hii yenye tunaitanga coco yeah if you want your periods to come so fast you can eat the coco you can eat it you can eat it raw e, see the cocoa iko does drinking chocolate no the cocoa the cocoa itself so you go you can mix with sugar and eat 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 until your period comes yes or maybe a dark chocolate yeah you can eat it and your periods are gonna come so guys let's continue with i don't know what number i've lost count but let's continue you can also use vitamin c yeah you can also use vitamin c but some of the things uh i won't advise you i'm i'm uh, that's what i'm telling you to use natural things vitamin c you can buy a supplement or maybe you can drink something like um first of all like something like papaya it has vitamin c i think then you can you can drink lemons you can you know you know you can drink those things which has vitamin c but it's always good to go to hospital it's always good to go to hospital it's advisable to go to hospital then there are some of the things like other things like passeries yeah passeries yeah passeries ni dania yeah some 
some they say that uh, parsley it's good, but I don't know. I don't know how effective it is. But uh, they always say that you can uh, smash it. You smash it, then you put it in your private. But I won't advise that because you know it's not good to put things in here. You know, it's not good. It's not a good thing to. It's not encouraged to put things in your thingy. So, cause like here, parsley contain high level of vitamin C. Yeah, or maybe you can just uh, smash it, then you put it in some water, and then you drink that water. Yes, vitamin C as well as apple, um, hmm, which may help to stimulate your uterine contraction. Yeah. However, apple is also toxic. It's also toxic in certain amount and is especially dangerous to pregnant women. You shouldn't drink parsley the tea if you are pregnant. You hear? You should not drink those you should not drink drink those parsley water or those parsley tea if you are pregnant. So you have to this one you are preventing this one is you know we are inducing the periods. Yes, you are making your periods to come fast or maybe your periods to come if you think if you are sus suspecting yourself that you may get pregnant if you are not going to take any action. So, you are told not to drink it and it if you have if you are pregnant don't drink that tea because you are supposed to drink the tea or maybe some say that you put it but me I don't advise that that is better you take the tea. Yes, hmm. make uh, to make parsley tea, simply pour a cup of boiling water over uh, over a, a cup of teaspoon of freshly parsley and allow it to steep and uh, about five minutes before you drink it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's also something else. There are some exercises that you can do. There are some of the exercises that you can do those exercises that you do to reduce the abs yes those exercises that you do to reduce the abs you're supposed to do them when you want your periods to come yes when you want your periods to come you can use the you can do the those or you do heavy heavy you can do heavy what do we call heavy exercises so that you are going to make your uter uterus you you make your uterus uterine to contract when it contract your period is gonna come so um, i don't think there's anything else let me check i don't know if there's anything else or maybe let me check and also <laughs> reducing yes <laughs> hmm now this one oh my god i don't know if i should say this uh-huh this one, uh, if if you want your periods to come, if you want your periods to come on time, are you listening? Are you listening or, I don't know, are you listening or not? You're supposed to have regular sex. Yes. <laughs> regular sex. And make sure you have the orgasm. In that orgasm, mama, in that orgasm, yeah. Yes. Uh, sexually activities can help trigger your periods in several ways. Having an, an orgasm can cause your cervix to yes to dilate, and this create a vacuum that uh, pull menstrual period down. So, yes, you have to. But Ali, hey, I think you are going to have this topic of orgasm. Yes, how to make your girl have that orgasm you know yes yeah, so um as i have said you have to have that thing regularly 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 see so that's easy what you have up or two because you can't do it regularly but you have to you have to do it regularly and make sure you have those orgasms so because they are going to unajua they are going to trigger your you know they are going to trigger your menstruation and you are going to have the your periods are gonna come. So, mostly leo to niluambia ni story moto 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 moto. Yeah, you do the regular. Then also you can go for birth controls. 
those those birth controls or uh, whatever pills or you know birth controls but it may be too late to go for birth control if you have already done it because i believe most of the most of the people or most of the doctors they are not going to to give you some a contraceptive if you have if you don't have periods most of them they wait for you to have the period and then from there they can give you the contraceptive because they know now that time you don't you're not pregnant so yes that's it and um if i get any other uh, i'm gonna tell, but abstain abstinence is the best thing abstinence is the best thing because you're not going to because you, you're not going to have any stress because hmm? you're not going to have any stress and i think in my next video <laughs> leo 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 topic motor motor this one is gonna be part three i'm going to tell you about um yeah i think maybe i've touched about uh, i've touched on it yeah maybe i've touched on it i don't know if i should talk about um if i should talk about safe days yeah i think maybe I, i'm go i'm gonna talk about safe days yes i think i'm gonna talk about safe days on the next video so that you're going to understand but those are some of the few remedies you can use at home to induce your periods but the main and the best the main and the best um thing to make your periods come fast is abstain abstain and use a condom it's always good to use a condom anytime you're having those things you know <laughs> and then <laughs> yes let us meet in the next video make sure you subscribe make sure you have shared with your friend and please don't forget to leave a comment and tell me do you believe in those home remedies have you ever used any home remedy have you ever tried any home remedy just tell me leave a comment down below and tell let's let's engage about this you know let us engage and please every day at 9 p.m be in my youtube channel so that you can come and we have a chat maybe you come and i always have a live yeah i always go live on my youtube channel so please make sure you yeah make sure you tune in yeah make sure you tune in every day at 9 p.m so that you have nemo open talks open talks with the nemo so guys subscribe and bye bye and share with your friends <laughs>